The HTC Vive Focus Vision is here and it promises a lot of great features, so I put it to the test and here are 7 cool features this new VR headset offers. Thanks HTC for sending it over and sponsoring this video, now let's get into it. And we're starting off with the big one, PC VR via DisplayPort. This should completely get rid of any compression artifact since you have the full bandwidth at your disposal and it means the PC VR experience should be amazing, but let's see if that's actually true. This is actually my first ever HTC headset and connecting it to my PC was extremely easy via the Vive Hub software. Now it's time to put it to the test and it's a great opportunity to see both the quality of the DisplayPort connection as well as the performance and tracking. This headset features a 5K combined resolution across both eyes so it should be very good. Starting off with a bit of a Cerro Corsa, the visuals look great and for PC VR wired is definitely the way to go if you want the best quality. Though this headset is capable of wireless PC VR as well which we're gonna test in a minute. Sim racing is generally a very demanding use case and performance has been fantastic. Though I am running this on an RTX 4090, so I wouldn't have expected anything less. Now let's push this thing and really test the visuals in Kayak VR. This game is fantastic for testing out headsets because the developers have designed it to be incredibly sharp, and the combination of very bright and very dark areas is great for testing out glare and contrast ratios. The game looks stunning, and with the 120 degree field of view of this headset, it's incredibly immersive, and I ended up playing it for well over an hour when recording this, even though I was only planning on about 50 15 minutes of recording. Moving on to a game with way darker environments, you know I had to test it out in some Half-Life Alex. I'm stunned by how good this game looks every time and the focus vision is no exception. The visuals are crisp, colors and contrast look great and I'm pleasantly surprised by how easy and consistent the PC VR experience is. Tracking has also been great so far, but it's time to briefly show you the wireless PC VR capabilities in a game that I could not play wired. Blade and Sorcery just requires too much movement to risk getting tangled because I'm so used to playing it without wires. Connecting the focus vision wirelessly to my PC was just as easy as wired. I'm using a Wi-Fi 6E router which is in the same room I'm playing in but I have experienced occasional stutters on other headsets, though this one seems to be rock solid. The visuals are obviously not as good as they are in DisplayPort mode, but it seems HTC's compression algorithms are pretty darn good because this still looks more than decent. Next up, this headset features infrared illuminated hand tracking because it is also a standalone headset that doesn't require a PC. The IR light on the front of the headset means it should work in complete darkness, so I made my room pitch black to test this out. Surprisingly, or maybe not, it does work pretty much the same as it does with the lights on, which is a feature I think every VR headset should have. It doesn't cost a lot to implement and takes up a very small amount of space in the headset's body, so good job HTC for adding this. Now since this is also standalone, let's talk about the pass-through. It features full color pass-through thanks to two 16 megapixel full RGB cameras on the front here, and you can see the quality for yourself on the recording. I would say it's about on par with other headsets on the market in terms of visuals, but for some reason it does feel less distorted and more true to life when it comes to the depth perception. If you're curious, I am able to easily see my phone in pass-through mode, though if you have an Android phone you can even fully mirror your phone in the headset. I couldn't test this since I have an iPhone, but it seems like a cool feature to have. Another very cool feature that I wish more headsets had is built-in eye tracking. This allows for a bunch of very cool features such as using dynamic foveated rendering in PC VR titles, which will Will help a lot with performance in heavy games or if your PC is a bit lower end. Another thing I wasn't expecting is there's actually a beta feature that allows you to navigate menus using your eyes, Vision Pro style. Once this is enabled, you can just look at a button or menu and use either your hands or controllers to click without actually having to point at it. I ended up using this way more than I thought I would and it's been very reliable so far. One other thing to mention is that it also supports a face tracking add-on, as well as full body tracking via the headset itself when using the Vive Ultra ultimate trackers. This means it should be a fantastic option for VR chat players because you can have full head-to-toe -to tracking in a simple to use and seamless package. Now I don't have these yet but I have asked HTC for the add-ons to test them out so hopefully I get those soon. Eye tracking also enables the next cool feature on the list, automatic IPD adjustment. Every time you put on the headset it will adjust the distance between the lenses automatically. And while this might not seem that amazing if you're the only one using the headset, it is awesome if you're sharing the headset with friends or family. Non-VR people have no idea even what their IPD is, so being able to just hand them the headset and have it adjust automatically makes the process a lot more straightforward and enjoyable. We haven't talked about battery life yet, so let's do that. In DisplayPort mode, you can play however much you want, but for wireless PC VR or even standalone, the Focus Vision comes with a hot swappable battery in the back here. The front of the headset has a built-in battery that can last up to 20 minutes, giving you plenty of time to swap out the back battery for a fresh one and keep going. One of these gives you about 2 hours of battery, 
battery life and do note that it only comes with one so you'll need to buy extras separately. Now arguably one of the most important things for any VR headset, the comfort and balance. This is where I was a bit worried when I first saw the specs because of course having all these features packed into it means extra weight. This being my first ever HTC headset, I had no idea what to expect when it comes to comfort. The focus vision is not only really well balanced due to having the battery on the back, but the strap, facial interface and back cushions are probably the best I've seen a headset come with out of the box. I was able to wear this for hours with very little pressure points and basically zero discomfort. For my first Vive headset, the focus vision was a pleasant surprise overall with a ton of great features packed into it. I'll continue testing it for a thorough full review, so make sure to subscribe if you're interested in seeing that. If you have any questions about it, leave them in the comments below because I love replying to every single one and I'm always happy to help. Here are a couple of videos to watch next and I hope you enjoyed this initial walkthrough of some cool features on HTC's new headset. I'll see you soon, guys. Cheers!